of scripture I would claim your attention to. One is Psalms 30. All right. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. Psalms 30. Verse 5. You, those of us been saved ought to say something about it. Uh -huh. you, you, you can't. You can't read good news like that uh -huh. and be completely silent. Read the whole Psalms when you get a chance. Let's, let's uh, extract the last phrase. Weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning and for our extra point The book of Ephesians, <clears throat> chapter 2, verse 8. Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8. For by works, That's not that's not in your Bible. <laughs> For by great intellect. No, that, that's that's not that's, what what's what's the name of your Bible? <laughs> For by grace <laughs> are ye saved yes. through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God by grace God gives us the gift that weeping may last for a night mm -hmm. uh -huh. but joy, joy comes in the morning yeah. I got almost in a shouting rage uh -huh. when I read this this scripture recently and I don't know how many times I've read it before, but but this time it seemed to have leaped off the page and got me in a heart lock. Um, because we all face these Nights and mornings. Uh -huh. I, I don't. I don't care who you are, what you learned, what where you've been, what you've earned, what you know. I don't care how many buttons you can push to get things done. Night is coming. Yes, sir.
But nights don't, well, nights are not forever. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's nights, surely, but it's, it's not forever. And one of the things the devil tries to convince us that night is forever. Have, have you ever been in your, your night? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Your, your night season and you look to the left, nothing but darkness. Uh -huh. Look to the right, nothing but darkness. You look all around you, nothing but darkness. You look toward tomorrow, still dark. You look back, Remember you came out of the dark. Yeah. It seems that there's no escape from the night. And no ramp from the darkness. Except the word of God always lifts us out of our nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, if, if anybody well, ever lived uh -huh. that knew about nights, yeah. All right. it was David. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Right if you uh, read David's life, yeah. uh, it would be a series of yeah. tragic mistakes. Yeah. David had some long, long, long nights. And we look around and see people in the news, people from Tinsel cities that have big mansions and big budgets. Uh -huh. $25 million per movie. Uh -huh. All kinds of cars in their garage. Uh -huh. And they still seem to be bogged down in a night. Uh, the, the, the news media will hound you when you're going through your night season. Uh, and let me give a pulpit caution. All right. All right. When you see someone going through their night season, uh -huh. don't, don't, don't you throw a party. Don't. Don't get any joy out of people going through their night season. For soon and very soon, you will be ushered into yours. Uh, if you watch the, the campaign season, People are moving around from state to state, from caucus to caucus, trying to, to win. Uh -huh. One week they are, they are happy because they won. And before the week is out, they are sad because they lost. One week up, one week down. But when it comes to the believer, I, 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 still, I still hold to the fact that there's a difference in the life of a non-believer and a believer. Uh, over and over and over and over and over again, God has proven to us that, that he can bring... Uh, 
cosmos out of chaos yes. uh -huh. yes, sir. Uh -huh. over and over and over again God has proven that that he can bring sunlight out of a dreary day. He just proved it this weekend. And unlike man, God doesn't have to make a lot of noise. Have you noticed how silent the snowfall was. No, 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 no pool hand grenades. No cannons going off. No jet engines firing up. No announcement from Washington. No program being sponsored by the Senate. Or by the Congress. God doesn't need any majority whip for snowfall. Push I had. Uh, now, now, now let me tell you something now. See, I believe that, that the snowfall is part of God's joy plan. Did you know that it snowed? In the poverty sections, it snowed on the homeless, just as well as those who live in the mansions. Who, who wouldn't serve a God like that? It's almost like God is saying, now, look at what I can do. If I can bring snow within three hours announcement by your meteorologist I can bring joy out of a black night because nights don't last long this um, this this these words from David uh, Urged by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Does not say. Uh, joy in. Joy. In the morning and. Darkness and weeping. At night. It, joy comes after. Uh -huh. Weeping. Uh -huh. Not not weeping. Before joy, uh -huh. not not joy before weeping, but not, not, which means that you listen. If you've been born in this world five days, you learn about weeping, and and you're gonna be weeping all through your life. Either positive weeping or negative weeping. I think David is saying here, my weeping is negative. I don't care how you try to paint their face as if everything is all right. There are times when everything is not all right. There are times when you don't feel like speaking. There are times when you don't feel like your friend trying to explain something that you know does not work. There are times when you don't want to hear anybody say, I know how you feel, because they don't. They know how they felt when they went through it. But they can't go through this with me. So sometimes it's best not to say anything. The best thing we can do as a friend is show up and lend our presence. It might be best to stop talking so much and go in the kitchen and help with the dishes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. There are times, and I, and I don't want you to ban me and charge me with heresy, but there are times when our little selected scriptures don't work. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. 
the, the kind the television evangelists say you can use and things are clear up. You can say the Lord is my shepherd all you want to. But some clouds are going to still linger. Because people look for gimmicks. They look for quickies. And then when they don't like it, they change it. There's, there's a commercial on television that says when people are born with a nose they don't like, they change it. Say, uh, Go ahead, that when people buy a car they don't like, they change. change it. And that when people get married and after six months discover they don't like the person they married, they change it. It's already proven that we are fickle with our process of decision making. It also means we need some help along the way. And, and you need some help other than folk who are going through the same thing you're going through. Two flies caught in horse reddish. Think the whole world is horse reddish. And when you're caught up in something, you think the whole world is like that. The good news this morning <clears throat> from, um, from King David is that uh, weeping is coming. Weeping is real. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yeah, you, 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 can't, you, you can't dress for not weeping. Tears will fall under seven hundred dollar hat. Tell them about no hat you got on. If if that's burden in the heart, weeping is going to a club. Mascara, lipstick, eye shadow. Weeping will mess all that up. But weeping is a gift from God. Someone says when a child of God cries, God is washing the soul. You know, you, 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 you've been through what you're going through. Now God is rinsing, drying out your problem. Wish I had some rinse. So go on and cry if you feel like it. At funerals and home going celebrations, I hear people telling loved ones, don't cry. Watch out. And I want to tell them, shut up. Yeah. 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 If I've had the last telephone call, if I've had the last conversation, yeah. if I can't go by mama's house anymore, because uh -huh. mama is absent, yeah. and I love mama, and I don't want to see mama leave my life, I got a right to cry. Go ahead, mama. You better leave me alone. Go ahead, mama. Go ahead, mama. But even when this world heaps upon me the burden of living and trying to make a living and trying to make a life and I end up in despair to the point where weeping is normal. Weeping is normal but it's temporary. It is only for a night. A night. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Every time I drink water out of a public water fountain and don't have to try to discover the sign that gives me direction. And I say weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes when it's time to drink water.
I remember when the public accommodation bill was passed. Uh -huh. Not because the president wanted to do it. For the president is a political figure. Sometimes political politics and morality don't mix. Go ahead, run, run. Go ahead. That's why there's a separation between church and state. Church got to be careful eating at Pharaoh's table. Drinking Pharaoh's wine. And wearing Pharaoh's clothes. Muddy Waters had a Muddy Waters. Act like you don't know who Muddy Waters is. Some of y'all in here, hair turning gray, you know Muddy Waters. Muddy Waters said, I'd rather drink Muddy Water and sleep on a hollow log than to change my mind. And I added to that my mind about how I feel about the law. Yeah. Uh, we should knuckle down and to anybody. Because yeah. we already got our candidate. Yeah. Yeah. Now our candidate has already won. Yeah. 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 Jesus had his night. Yeah. And the Bible says he wept. And if Jesus had to weep, yeah. what about us? Yeah. Jesus didn't stay in that garden weeping all day and all night yeah. and all through the winter and all through the summer. Yeah. If you've been born again, it ain't but a night. Yeah. 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 It ain't ahead. but a season. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Things didn't work out. Yeah. So what? It went differently than I thought. So what? I got this disease in my body. So? They say I'm terminal. So? Go ahead, Rob. Man can't ever put a period behind anything he says. Because when a man puts a period, God takes his index finger. Puts it in man's period and draws a line and turns that period into a comma. And God says, but weeping may endure for a night, but I, I, I wish you were not cold this morning. I, I know it's cold outside, but it's getting hot in here. same way as a bus terminal. Uh -huh. yeah. All 
right, brother. And a train terminal. And an airport terminal. And a plug in. Well, your case is terminal. So, only Jesus can say it's finished. On Calvary, Jesus didn't lift his head and say, it is terminal. <laughs> because Jesus knew that joy. <laughs> ah, I wish you felt like I did it. See? Ter ter terminal means that, that, uh, that I'm, I'm, it's, it, I'm temporary. No, nobody stays in the terminal. Right. Terminals are temporary. Yeah. You, you don't, only, only reason you spend a lot of time in term, terminal because you can't get your flight out. Right. But, but, but you stay there. You, you, you don't go outside. You stay there because you know that, that you hear it, that joy is coming. When I came from overseas, had to take a bus ride from Chattanooga to Atlanta. I was on the bus with 40, 42 soldiers. And when we got to Atlanta, someone met the bus and they were checking us off. And J James Jones, wh wh where are you going? He said, I'm going to Columbus. They said, that, uh, your bus leaves on uh, uh, 13 over there. And, and, uh, Ben, ben Mundi, where, you, you, where you going? Well, I'm going to, to um, uh -huh. I, I'm going to Auburn, where your bus leaves on, on track. And, and when I go, they, they, they said, where are you going? This is just at the, the, the bus terminal. They said, where are you going? I said, I'm going home. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at home. Some, uh, some glad morning. When this life is over. It won't be terminal. I ain't going to a waiting place. I'm going to a getting off place where you get on. I'm going home. To all of those of us who are suffering from some kind of disease, don't buy the diagnosis that says you're terminal. No. 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 If the Lord says it's finished down here, yeah. only a moment yeah. and a twinkling of an eye, yeah. I'm absent from here, yeah. but I'm present with the Lord. Yeah. And I didn't get that on my own. By grace. Are we saved? Through faith in Jesus Christ. Are you saved? Are you saved and certain about it? Certain and saved? Then be not dismayed. Whatever be time. God will. God will. He has promised and he has done it. How do you think we made it through 2007? God will. How do you think you made it from yesterday to this morning? God has taken care of you. He will. And no matter what you're facing this week, just lean on the Lord. And he will take care of you. Stand up, Dawson. I went to visit Dawson in his hospital room. Dawson didn't favor himself. I didn't. I could. I didn't recognize him. 
He was so swollen that he couldn't open his eyes. And they said, we, he can't make it. But they didn't give up on him. And, and, and uh, look at him here today. I, Is, is, is Ellen Magsby here? And I'll be through. Most of us remember Ellen's brother, Bay. Bay! Bay. They call the family and the pastor together around Bay's bed three times. And they said to us, his case is terminal. They even told Ellen and the family, you need to remove all of these gadgets because he's only breathing on the machine. Uh-huh. And they said, Reverend, what do you think? I said, pray. And seek direction from the Lord. So they said, we are delayed. We delayed that decision for a day. And early that next morning, they called the family together, and I went down with them. But joy had come. I walked in, Bay was smiling, and Bay said, uh, that's a pretty tie you have on. I said, you want it? He said, yeah. I put it off and gave it to him. Three weeks after that, Bay walked in this church with that tie on. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. Let's open the doors of the church. Extend an invitation to discipleship. Come live a life of joy. Even when weeping comes. Is that one this morning? From the balcony. Main floor. Wherever you are in this sanctuary.